गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टू दिस टॉपिक इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इन आर डे बाई डे लाइफ आर फर्स्ट इज ड्रिंकिंग स्ट्रॉ द ड्रिंकिंग स्ट्रॉ इज अ वेरी थिन पाइप विच इज यूज टू ड्रिंक सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक्स द ड्रिंकिंग स्ट्रॉ works on the existence of atmospheric pressure the lower end of drinking straw is dipped in the soft drink when we suck at the upper end of the straw with our mouth the pressure of air inside the straw and in our mouth is reduced but the pressure acting on the surface of the soft drink is equal to atmospheric pressure so the greater atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the soft drink pushes the soft drink up the straw into our mouth second is syringe a glass tube with the nozzle and piston for sucking in and ejecting liquid in a thin stream is called a syringe the syringe works on the existence of atmospheric pressure when the nozzle of a syringe is dipped in a liquid and its piston is withdrawn the pressure inside the syringe is lowered the great atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the liquid pushes the liquid up into the syringe third is rubber suction pad rubber suction pads are used on the walls to hang clothes and calendars when rubber suction pad is pressed against the smooth plane surface the air between the suction pad and the wall is forced out reducing the pressure inside the outer atmospheric pressure being greater pushes the suction pad strongly and it adheres to the surface of the wall Otto von Guric a German scientist of the 17th century invented a vacuum pump to extract air out of a container he conducted an experiment in which he joined together two hollow metal hemisphere of 51 cm to form a sphere with the help of this vacuum pump he demonstrated dramatically the force of the air pressure then he tried very hard to pull the two hemispheres apart but could not do so due to atmospheric pressure even he employed two teams of eight horses each pulling in opposite directions to pull them apart the force of air pressure was so great that the two hemispheres could not be separated these were also called the magdeburg hemispheres